Hey, would you like your footage to look like this? Or like this? Maybe like this? Or in many other different ways, but... I mean, would you like your footage to look cinematic? Well then, I'm gonna show you a really fast and easy way of doing it. Just after the intro. What's up guys, Dan Forlani here and welcome back to another video. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, it just takes one second. So we can jump immediately into the topic of today's video, which is the easy way to make your footage look cinematic. First piece of advice, it's important that you shoot using a flat profile. If your camera doesn't have C-Log, there are some options out there. One is the, the one I'm using, Technicolor CineStyle. It makes your profile, your footage like uh, flat and it even looks ugly at first, but it retains much information when it comes to highlights and shadows than the regular picture profiles. The software I'm using is um, a Resolve, but I'm sure you can find a way to apply the tips I'm going to give you right now, even on other softwares like um, Premiere Pro or Final Cut and many others. So let's see. So I put some footage in here, like four pieces of different videos. One is me balancing the gimbal, picture profile, Technicolor Cine style. Also the second one is me, different kind of environment, different colors, flat Cine style. This one in the park was shot last year with the Canon M50 with one of the default picture profiles. There was so much difference between the shadows and the highlights and I decided to focus on the shadows because otherwise my face would have been like too dark. As a result, the sky is pretty much blown out. I'm going to try to do what I can to fix it a little bit. But as I said, when you shoot with a default picture profile, what you get is what you're gonna have to use. There's very little you can do. And then another piece of a B-roll that I used of a Viltrox adapter. So let's start with the first clip. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go here where there is the symbol of a drop and a triangle and I'm going to click select sharpen, not blur. And I'm going to go on the radius and pull it down to 42, 43, not more than that, otherwise the footage will start looking weird. Then I go on the color wheel and I start pulling up the exposure. As you can see here, you can control that it doesn't go too high. Then I go here on lift where I control the um, darkness, basically, of the, of the colors of the video. And I pull it down a bit, then I add some um, overall contrast, a little bit. I put the shadows a little bit down. Here, where it says shad, shadows. Then I set the saturation to more or less 60. So from 50 to 60, 59, something like that. So that it's not too much color yet, <laughs> because now I'm going to the color booster. And I put it up to 10, 11, as long as it looks good, it's not too much. And we see it's not bad already looks better. What do you think? So when I'm satisfied with the color balance and the footage looks decent, that's when we can make it cinematic. Like this. First, we create another layer, which here in Resolve is called Node, and it's going to be our adjustment layer, because now we're going to create another node or layer where we are going to apply a LUT. What's a LUT? That's a good question. Let's say if you're familiar with Instagram, it works kind of like that. 
it's more complicated, but that's what it does more or less. I'll show you. So we create this node to apply a LUT. And generally you already have tons of LUTs by default when you open, you right click. We scroll down until we find LUTs. And generally you find many, but in this case I'm going to select Peter McKinnon's LUTs to apply one that is called the teal and orange though, which gives to the footage a kind of like cinematic look or like a TV show like Supernatural or CSI, something, something of the kind. See, when you apply it, it looks weird. It's like, oh my god, I'm not gonna use loots ever again. Well, don't worry about it, cause there's something you need to do. You go on the keyframe, on a kind of like card with a, with a man, <laughs> and you drop down the key output to zero. From there, you bring it up, and usually it looks good between uh, 35, 40, it depends. Uh, let's say it's better to stay between 30 and 40. Okay, but it's not finished yet, but we're not done. There's something more we need to do, that's why we created the adjustment layer or node. So we select it and we go to the color wheel here. And that's when uh, generally we try to make it look even better. So we put the exposure a little bit down. We add some orange with the temperature just a little bit. We add some contrast. We darken the shadows a little bit. We darken the blacks like this. And this is it. I think it's not bad, huh? What do you think? Leave a comment down below and tell me what you think about it. Hit the like button and subscribe if you aren't already. Let's keep going. In the second footage, it's a little bit different. So first of all, I'm going to color correct it like I did with the previous one. And then, again, we create the adjustment layer and the layer for the LUT. And this time I'm going to select another LUT, still by Peter McKinnon. I mean, I'm using Peter McKinnon's LUTs because I like the way they look and uh, I'm used to it now. But there are so many others that you have by default or that you can download basically for free and they're awesome. But let's see, I'm going to use another one which is called Coda Killer. This already looks kind of nice, even 100%, but I don't like using LUTs like at 100%. I prefer to, to keep a low profile. You know, when you exaggerate with the color grading, sometimes it gives you away that you are an amateur. Then again, it depends. When you're happy with the color grading you get, you made it, so you're good. Let's keep going. So we bring it down to 44%, more or less. Yeah, it really looks good. Make some minor adjustments to the adjustment layer or node. We add some extra contrast, darken the shadows, darken the blacks, and bam! What do you think? Now, I'm gonna show you what happens when we color correct and color grade a footage that was shot with a default picture profile. Neutral, but still one of the default picture profiles. Here it is. So again, we sharpen it, we adjust the exposure a bit, and you see all the information is gone, like in the highlights. So we have to make things do. We darken it a bit, we add some contrast, then we add some saturation, like it's 60 more or less, color boost. Same thing we did with the others. We create the adjustment layer and the layer for the LUT. Here it is. Well, this time I'm gonna use again teal and orange. I think it's everyone's favorite. Even though when I color grade my footage, I use for like 80% Kodak Killer. But everyone seems to love teal and orange, so I'm gonna use teal and orange also here and we'll see. Again, we go on the keyframe, key output, we bring it down to, bring it down, 
until we like it and then we adjust it because it's way too bright we adjust the exposure we pull it down a bit we add some overall contrast we make it a little bit warmer with the temperature it's like adding some orange shades to the footage we try to adjust the brightness then pull down the blacks a little bit maybe yeah just a little bit i mean it looks good but not great So there are parts of the sky that they're gone because there's no information it was shot with the default picture profile so basically there's like nothing to do for that the last footage is like part of like a small piece of a b-roll where i showed a viltrox adapter When it's color corrected when it already looks good again we add the adjustment layer and the layer for the LUT again I'm going to select a different one also this is by Peter McKinnon it goes without saying you can use any they're, they're all good the fact that I'm using Peter McKinnon's LUT doesn't mean anything it's just a personal preference so we select this time a different one let's say I'm gonna try this one black eye which is going to darken the footage a lot that's not just about it it's almost a complete color grading so we just have to lighten it up and let's see if we have to adjust something hmm, I think it already looks good so we just adjusted the transparency and this is what we get As I said, if you don't have a resolve and you use a different software, I think you can figure out how to follow my directions even there. But what I wanted to show you in this video is that I just took um, some footage, all shot with a flat profile, like a cine style picture profile, and one shot with a default picture profile. And with just a few clicks, I color corrected them, color graded them, I, I added a lot and bam, I think they look cinematic or at least they look so much better than before and so much better than if they were shot using a default picture profile. You see when I color graded the one shot with a default picture profile was a kind of hard and the result mm, they're decent but not awesome i mean judge for yourself see for yourself just uh, leave a comment down below tell me what you think about it hit the like button smash it if you like this video subscribe if you aren't already and i will see you guys in the next video Peace.